So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add packages into your Xcode project from the Swift Package Manager. So grab your cup of coffee and let's hop into Xcode. So there's four parts to this video. Number one is how do you add a package? Number two is how do you use that package? Number three, how do you delete a package? And then finally, why would you reach for a package? That kind of deal. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually open up a project here in Xcode. Let's go ahead and just start a brand new project. All right, so how to add a package? Well, the very first thing is you need the repos URL. So let's go find one. Now, where do you find packet, Swift Package Managers? That is on GitHub. So I'm gonna go ahead and to Firefox here. Oh look, GitHub's already open to a package that we wanna use. So let's say we wanna use this package called SP Permissions. Um, and all it is, it's a library to improve the user flow when asking permissions to install. There's actually an option here that walks you through how to install. But all you need right now is this URL. So I'm gonna go ahead and Command C for copy. So there's two ways you can actually install the package and we'll go through both ways, don't worry. The first way is you can click on the project itself, go into the target, and then underneath frameworks, libraries, and embedded content, there is a plus button. Go ahead and hit that plus button. Then you go to add other. Once you're inside add other, go ahead and click on add package dependency. And it's gonna ask you what you want. And right here in the top right, there's a view or enter package URL. So we're gonna go ahead and paste that there. And now you can see the SP permissions. What's also neat is if is it also shows you the recently used Swift packages. This dependency rule is how do you keep the project up to date? How do you keep the package up to date? So minor, major versions. Um, we'll just use the next major version. And add package. And now it's inside your project. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel though so that I can show you the other way to add. So the other way to add, you don't have to actually be in this window. So like we can be in content view here, just inside of view if we wanted to, go into file. And then there's an add packages button right here. And it's gonna open that same window. So again, I can just paste that URL, hit command V to paste it in, add package, and it's gonna be added in. So I'm gonna let it go ahead and add and do its thing now. All right, with this library specifically, you have to choose what package you actually want in here because there's multiple packages since it handles permissions. Um, again, if you go to the GitHub repo, it'll tell you exactly like what's going on, why you need this, that kind of stuff. Um, most packages, if you're finding them on GitHub like this, actually will tell you exactly what you need to do. Because you might not need everything in your app, it, that's why it's giving you the option to just target specific packages itself. Um, so let's just say we need the, let's just answer it, input some stuff here. Uh, Bluetooth, calendar, let's just say calendar and contacts. Hit add package. And now they've been added here. And you can see inside Xcode, the package dependencies have been added. All right, now the great step of how do you actually use, how do you use it? Well. You have to, before you can actually use the dependency, you have to import it. So import uh, SP permissions. And then, so with this specific app, with this specific library, we have to import SP permissions. And we also have to import the part that we want now. So if I want import uh, calend contacts, Great, so contacts is in there. So now we can actually just call contacts as we need to. All right, so if we need to you to use the SP permissions in this in this view, let's say, to use that we have to declare it. So let permissions equal SP permissions dot, and then here are all the options we have to actually call and start using the permissions. And you can go through and start seeing what exactly it is. So like if we needed to list off the permissions here, 
we can just say, great, we want dot camera, or I mean dot contacts, and there it is. And only co dot contacts is available because that's all we have here is the import statement. And that's how you use the package inside your, inside your project. Um, I'm not gonna go through how to exactly use this package. I just wanted to show you an example of how to add packages, how to use packages. Now, how do you actually remove a package? Maybe you don't need this anymore, so how do you get rid of it? Well, to do that, you go back into your project, then you go into the actual project here and package dependency. So you have this package dependency tab, info, build settings, package dependency. Click on the package you want to delete. You may have more than one here, but click on the one you want to remove and then hit the minus button and confirm. Now it's removed and Remember to take out all your references to the other import statements and such like that so that you can actually run your app. Because if you run your app right now, the build will fail because there's, there's no package in there to depend on anymore. There's no more dependency. Aha. Cool. So, and then we can do that the same here. All right, so that's how you add and remove packages. That's how you can actually use dependencies also. Um, so when should you actually reach for an external dependency? A good time to reach for an external dependency is when it can actually benefit you and when you're when you're ready to use one. So basically it's kind of like you know when you need one kind of deal because it can make your life easier, but it can also make your life harder. With external dependencies, you're depending on another developer to actually write the code that you need inside your app. And if, you're, and if the code that's being written inside your app isn't right, or maybe they introduce a bug and you just don't know how to fix it, well, then you're kind of dependent on that developer, not, you're dependent on that developer fixing that bug at some point in time in life. Um, but they can also be really beneficial because you don't have to worry about, you know, having to do it yourself. So if we look here in Xcode, we'll see that I switched to iHog. I just wanted to show you, like, this is a use case. This app I actually used a is actually dependent upon a third party, a third party dependency. It's it is dependent upon this package called OSC Kit, and then this other package called Purchases. Um, so OSC Kit actually handles the communication to and from the app to the third to the device to the Hog remote, and then Purchases from Revenue Cat. It's a really handy dandy uh, in-app purchasing library that just makes it super easy to get started with in-app purchases. So now I'm really dependent on OSC Kit always working for me to connect to, um, so that the function of the app always works. And then I'm also dependent on purchases to always work um, so that in-app purchases are, you know, keep working and they keep working inside the app. Um, but what these two, but by adding these two packages to my app, I actually increase, I mean, I decrease my development time and I decreased a part that would, that could have caused me issue actually developing inside the app itself. So like OSC kit, I had no idea how to actually write the code to, um, write the code to facilitate the protocol network calls that went from the app to the console itself. Like there was no idea, no idea where to start. Googling wasn't helping me. Eventually I just stumbled upon a package um, that actually handled it for me and it handled it well. And I actually ended up knowing the developer that wrote the, that wrote, I actually ended up, I know, I actually ended up knowing the developer of OSC kit. So that gave me a little bit of leeway there to say, yeah, I'm gonna add this into my packet, into my app which is a little convoluted. So by having the purchases pro uh, package, it just helps speed up my development time. Um, so when you should really reach for an external dependency is basically when you see fit, if it's gonna make your life easier and you trust who's, who's writing that package, then I don't see an issue with it. Um, but that is just something else that can either introduce bugs into your code or it can introduce just a little bit of more headache into your code because it's something that you're not touching yourself. It's not something that you didn't build. You don't know how it's built. So I highly recommend always digging into what is actually inside that package before you add it into your app.
Thanks for watching everyone. I really appreciate it. If you liked this video and you want to talk about more iOS dev tips and tricks, then make sure you join the Discord. We'd be happy to have you in the community. You can also reach out to me on Twitter, drop a comment here, or even on Instagram if you want to. Links to all of that in the description below. While you're down there, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified when more videos get posted. The algorithm has determined that the video that popped up on screen is the one that you'd probably like the most to watch next. So make sure you click on that and check it out if you haven't, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.